welcome back to Storytime TV. I'm Peyton, and today I'm going to be reading The Night Before Mother's Day. But before I do that, make sure to go follow me on TikTok at Ocean Sheepy and go follow my family on Facebook as Storytime TV Online. Thank you. Now let's get to the video. Twas the night before Mother's Day. Sorry, there's such a glare. Oh, and I just got through almost to the end of this book. And then my mom's mom called because she's coming over for dinner. And it started, it stopped it, and I wasn't done yet. And that's happened to me with a 20-minute video, practically. So, yeah. "'Twas the night before Mother's Day when, as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us his plan to get Mom out of the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pals soon would be there. Then out in the yard there arose quite a crowd. Come on, let's go, girl, her friends shouted real loud. So mom in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snip. Maybe I'll go film one in the yard. Away to the kitchen we flew like a flash as if we were running a 100 yard dash. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter we children then nestled all snug in our beds while visions of mom danced in our heads. Comment in Facebook if you have the best mom ever. I do. I love you, mom. The next morning we presented a giant bouquet. It's for you, mom, we cried. Happy Mother's Day. We read both of our cards and after wiping our eyes, wiping her eyes, said, a private spa session? What a lovely surprise. We took mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. We rubbed her shoulders, we massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled. You kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel turban to cover her hair. Then we dabbed on a mud mask. No mess anywhere. I, p I painted her nails. What glittery fun. A top coat of polish. Voila. Manicure done. Dad said the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's a meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. So mom hurried off to go and get dressed. We took seats at the table behaving our best. When what to our wondering eyes should appear but the perfect model for mother of the year. Her eyes how they sparkled, her brown hair how curly. Her cheeks were like roses, her skirt very twirly. When I looked over there and went it's because I forgot to plug in the microphone. So, I don't know if you can hear me or not. We raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom. And that's not a boast. My mom is the greatest. Not them. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. I hope you liked it. I have the best mom ever, so I love that story, and so does my mom. But, yeah, if you can, like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time on Storytime TV. Bye!